In the description of every video, I will include a link to the Python 3 documentation. When you open the Python documentation page, you're greeted with the big title, Python v 3.3.2 documentation. In the first section, there are a bunch of links that take you to different places. In my opinion, they are kind of like a university website. They show off the language and give you little snippets, but it's not the meaty stuff that you're looking for. The next section is where the good stuff is. The first link takes you to the page where all the documented modules are, listed out in alphabetical order, along with quick descriptions of what they do. These are all of the parts that we are able to import into our project. By clicking on the link, we can see all the functions or methods available when we import them. The next link takes you to a list of all the functions in the Python. When you first click it, it almost looks like the page failed to load correctly. There is only a single bar with all of the letters in the alphabet. Don't worry, this is exactly how it is supposed to look. If you click the full index link, you'll see every function available to Python, which can be quite overwhelming. To save yourself time, if you have an idea of what you're looking for, just click the letter that the function starts with. Let's pretend I want to figure out how to print a message to the console. I would click the P link, then I could either scroll until I found it, or hit Control F and just type print. There are a few different prints available, but uh, we will keep searching until we find the built-in function. Once we see it, we click on it, and then we can see everything that print can do. Print has a few arguments, which we can see here. The first one is uh, what we want to print. This is just text, or numbers, or whatever. The next is the separator. Or it is shown by sep. These are what goes in between different uh, elements. So say you want to print a, an integer or a string together. This is what goes in between the two. The end argument is what happens at the end of your print. So you can have it create a new line as shown by the default, or you can have it do something else. And the file argument allows you to print data to a file. We may get into files in a future tutorial. The default sys.std out is printing to the command line. So that is how you use the Python documentation. If there is a function that I use and you want to know more about what it can do, feel free to pause the video at any time and look it up.